Well, the drought is taking a toll not only on fields and farms, but also on fish, including the endangered coho salmon. Low water levels have prevented many adult California coho from reaching their spawning grounds in creeks like Lagunitas in Marin County. Last weekend's rain brought a measure of relief, raising water levels enough to allow some salmon through. But as reporter Dan Brecky found, the relief may be temporary. Every fall, the first big rains of the season draw coho salmon back to Lagunitas Creek in western Marin County. With only a few hundred adult coho returning here annually to spawn, these fish are fighting for survival. And now they face a new threat, California's drought. Hey there. To find out how the fish are doing, I met up with Greg Andrew, a fish biologist with the Marin Municipal Water District, and his intern, Rosa Albanese. We got some waders for you and you can uh, put these on. We'll keep you dry while we walk through the creek. They let me join them on a survey to track fresh spawning activity in Lagunitas Creek, one of the last strongholds for wild coho salmon on the central coast. Right away, Dan, we've got two nest sites here where the female has laid her eggs and the male has fertilized those. I gave Greg a hand measuring this spawning nest site called a red. That's good. Doesn't have to be exactly there, but pretty close. 7.2. Normally, the coho in the Lagunitas watershed finished spawning in mid-January, but the drought has actually changed the fish's behavior by pushing the spawning season well into February. What that tells me is that those fish were out in Tomales Bay holding and just waiting, and this is the first time we've actually seen this happen. The fish waited for a big storm, a much-needed event that came last week when more than a foot of rain soaked Marin County. That deluge prompted a hundred coho to surge into the creek to spawn and then die. So, Dan, this is a coho carcass. Beautiful. Spawn and die. As Rosa and Greg take measurements and tissue samples, I'm reminded that even in death, this coho is a critical link in the ecosystem carrying nutrients into the soil to nourish towering redwoods at the water's edge. As we head upstream, we finally get a glimpse of these remarkable fish and their struggle to pass on their DNA. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Use your binoculars and get a good look at those guys. Two brawny males push and bite each other to get access to a nearby female, waiting for a chance to fertilize her eggs. We even spot another threatened species of fish, a steelhead trout. So far to date, we have counted about 165 coho reds in Lagunitas Creek, and we've seen uh, close to 300 uh, coho salmon. That's a good number, and just a week ago, we had less than half that. The Marin Municipal Water District releases water year-round to help not only migrating adult coho, but also the young that live here for more than a year before swimming out to sea. But with the drought, the reservoirs are well below capacity. The drought means low flows, low water levels in the creek, which is bad for any fish, right. and certainly bad for the coho salmon in California. With steps ranging from building debris structures to provide a refuge for fish, to the state's recent ban on fishing in coastal streams, the fight to save the coho for future generations presses ahead. These are fish that don't belong to me or you or the people of Marin County. They are a resource to the state of California. They belong to the people of California. And I think people view the, the status of the population as an indicator of the health of their own environment. As the salmon go, so goes their environment, mm. and so goes their state of well-being living here in California.